That's my greatest campaign asset. <laughs> Close and personal, but that's right. Uh, again, my name is Jason Froach, and I am running for state representative here in District 155. I do appreciate you guys coming out tonight. Um, it's very important to have a community interest in the dirty word politics, but it is necessary. We need community involvement, the citizens to be involved, to be concerned with their government, to be concerned with the direction that our state. And honestly, our federal government is headed right now. Uh, a little bit about myself. I am married to Ashley for 10 years now. We have three young children. One is eight years old. Her name, also David, is Savannah. Uh, we have a four-year-old, rambunctious four-year-old. Many of you guys know. His name's Clay. And then our youngest right now, for the time being, for another few months, is Ellie. And she's 14 months old. And we have number four on the way, and his name is Elijah James, if it turns out being a boy. <laughs> we haven't even considered one girl. <laughs> uh, I fully support the Second Amendment. I believe that without our Second Amendment, all of our other rights would very quickly be infringed upon. Uh, that is a, a bedrock of our society and of our freedom. I believe that the Second Amendment just doesn't protect hunting. And it just doesn't protect our right for personal protection. But it is a reminder of 1776 that King George learned the hard way. And that is, do not infringe upon the natural rights of our citizens. That is the primary purpose of the Second Amendment. Do not ever let anybody tell you otherwise. I am 100% pro-life. Uh, because of my pro-life stance, I do have a pro-life rating with the Missouri Right to Life. I'm a small business owner here in Gainesville. Many of you guys are my customers, and I do appreciate it. Uh, we've been going in business now for six years, growing steadily. Not leaps and bounds, but I'm okay with that. It is growing, and we're very, very fortunate and very thankful for that. I'm a graduate of the University of South Florida with a Bachelor of Science in Business. Over the past 20 years, I think I'm going to pull this, this is just not working. <laughs> I'm getting a crick on my neck. <laughs> uh, I, I, over the past 20 years, I've worked in the private sector. Uh, 15 of those 20 years, starting and operating small businesses. Uh, one of, I would consider a pretty great accomplishment, was I started a, a small marketing firm with friends of mine. And in less than five years, we grew it to being the second largest AT&T wireless dealer in the nation, second only to uh, Walmart. Um, during, my private, during my 20 years in the private sector, I've dealt with many, many burdensome regulatory agencies such as the USDA, the EPA, OSHA, any number of letters you want to throw together. I've had the pleasure or the displeasure of encountering them. So if you want to know about my experience, well, I've had them. And not all of them have been good dealing with government. Um, far too often, government hampers innovation. It adds undue risk to business, which is, as many of you know as business owners, it's risky enough as it is. We don't need our government to add to that, to pile on, you might say. And, uh, and frankly, when having the, uh, my almost over? Okay. <laughs> having the government putting their nose in business that, that has no right to. I look to returning our government to its proper role in our lives, and that is to protect life, liberty, and property. I respect the individualism of our communities, the individualism of our counties. Whatever we can't handle as families, we then go up to our city. But we can't handle citywide, we go to countywide. There's very little that we can't handle within Ozark County. Very, very little. If we would just get the burdensome state and federal government out of our lives allow us to care for one another as charitable citizens do. Now, there is a role for state government. There is a role for federal government. But unfortunately, we have seen over the past 80 to 100 years that structure flipped on its head where now we actually think that the most important person 
in our government is the president or our senator or U.S. representative. No, they have assumed an unright position in our lives. We must, it is incumbent upon us, to reclaim the authority that we right, rightfully have over our lives. Remember this, government is established by men. What power I have to protect my rights, I have delegated to my state representative, I have delegated to my governor, to my sheriff. None of them have any more power to act against you than I do. And none of you have any other more power to act against me. And, and, and the same way. Our government has only the power that we have delegated to them. No more. So I, I seek your vote. I really do appreciate you all here. If you support liberty, protection of life and property, support me on August 5th. Thank you.